Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. It was really one crazy and outstanding week, but thankfully we have managed to close this week with more than 1,035 pips of profits delivered to our clients in the premium group. And by the way, not only the premium members were happy, even our followers who are just following the free daily signals on the free group, uh, such as this, uh, this gentleman here, he said, great week, even in free group. Group. thank you for your daily signals as you can see here we when I can afford it I will join the paid crew because he actually he's not yet a member in the premium group yet actually he's very happy and satisfied about the results um, all the results are right in front of you here uh, this is from the premium group also as we can see uh, April 6 all of the signals were actually in a very good and deep profit uh, April 7 as well as you can see these are the results right on right in front of you my friends I'm not hiding anything at all you can check them yourself you can compare these tiny small losses uh, and compare them to the uh, big profits that we are actually delivering to our clients we are not letting any signal to hit the stop loss we are doing our best once we see the market going against our direction we close the signal and get rid of it and just keep the winning signals and i think this is uh, one of the reasons why our uh, results have been improved not only that of course but we actually have improved our system we are using right now a strategy combining the fibonacci retracement along with a price action and of course the timing of the candles and a lot of things actually i cannot re reveal it here but in the end uh, our results has been improved a lot and thankfully uh, even the members right now are very happy and satisfied about the results and as we can see we are now getting back a lot of very satisfied messages from our dear clients so of course um, everything is going really very well and i'm very happy about the results and i just hope it's going to continue the same so if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. So before we proceed with the weekly analysis, I just wanted to warn everyone about something happening recently on my channel. There is a scammer who actually replies to the members under my name and using the same profile picture that I'm using on YouTube as well. For example here, Mr. Albert, he have made a comment and I actually have replied to him. This is the authentic and the genuine reply from the owner of the channel. And you can tell this by seeing the highlighted name. If the name is highlighted like this, that means the, this is the real owner of the channel, which is me, Salah, has replied to him. And as you can see right here, this is the scammer who have replied the next day. And look at his name, it's not back, not highlighted and he's sharing whatsapp number and you should know my friends that i will never ever share whatsapp number on youtube just like this i mean anyone can tell that this is a scammer I mean, it's very obvious by the way he's typing the message me now for into investments i will never there is no way that i will do that so i hope mr albert will pay attention to that and don't fall to him and please pay attention my friends uh, look at them he actually have actually he have made a lot of comments on literally every single video and i spent more than 10 minutes deleting them one by one so please pay attention my friends and avoid him always make sure when someone who pretends to be me and using my name is, is make sure first that the name is highlighted because it means that this is me or not so i had to to, uh, to warn everyone uh, please pay, pay attention and be careful from this scammer all right so let's now begin with the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now first of all we have to move to the daily chart on the euro usd so this is daily chart and as we can see right here we can notice that the market actually has created right here a strong key resistance level on the level 1.14 uh, 1.19402 and right here we can see that the market has actually created one attempt to break out of that uh, resistance level and it actually has succeeded to break out but however immediately once the market went down exactly the same level has immediately also broken out from that level indicates that the market right now is below that level of the sub of the previous resistance and look at that the market actually has reversed again and the same level of the previous resistance has remained to be another resistance and the market kept going down in a bearish momentum all of that indicates that this level is actually much stronger as a resistance rather than a support so there was not even one single attempt as a support right on that resistance level maybe this one right here but i think it's a fake breakout and however i don't um, i think it's uh, worth to, to look at it because what we are seeing right here is a very strong bearish momentum however however it's 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 worth to mention something here 
that the euro USD in general is moving in a strong bullish momentum as we can see right here the market actually has respected the support trend line and therefore we can see that the market is actually rising up but that doesn't mean at all that we should buy the euro USD right away if I'm not mistaken what will gonna happen is we have right here what we can claim as a support number one from that previous resistance and the market right here is gonna rise and creates another attempt to break out from sorry sorry did i say a support right here sorry uh, this was actually a resistance number one and the market actually has to have to respect that previous resistance and therefore we can expect from the market to rise again to create another attempt of the resistance which is going to be resistance number two and after that the market have to fall right to, all the way right here to hit that previous support level on 1.17991 and right after that we might actually buy the euro usd now someone might tell me but why don't we just assume that the market is actually going to continue the rise immediately well there are two reasons first of all there is actually no price action or any a, a pattern indicates that the pair is, is going to be able to actually rise at the moment we have to wait actually to 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 see the form or actually a structure uh, indicates that the market is going to continue the rise for example we have only two attempts right here on the support trend line we have to see at least three attempts before we confirm that we can start buying the euro usd at one one point one seven double nine one but before that i don't think it's going to be wise to to buy to buy the euro usd let me show you something right here we also have right here a resistance trend line and if we clone it we can see that right here we are having a channel this is a downtrend channel and most likely the euro usd is actually gonna uh, bounce right on that channel and after that is gonna hit that previous support as i said before let me do something here which actually i'm not usually doing but actually on my channel i have explained it before so this is here another channel as we can see we just made it no more narrow and as we can see i have i just had to actually clone that channel right here the, the resistance trend line to create a new channel and from my from what i am seeing right here the euro usd is going to continue the rise until it hit, it hit the previous resistance right here and also hit the channel right here and after that it's going to continue the fall and our target is going to be the support level on 1.17991 that being said uh, by the way also on daily chart this candle this candle usually indicates for a bearish reversal and we can see it happened right here the same candle which has actually reversed um this candle as i'm telling everyone is a very strong price action indicates a, a, a bearish reversal so if you see this candle right here which looks like that uh, if, if you see it on the top of the resistance most likely it means a bearish reversal and vice versa if you see it upside down like that on uh, the support level most likely it indicates a bullish reversal and if we check the history we can see that this happened almost all of the time we can see it right here um, we can see it right here exactly right here this is the candle we can see it also um, right here this is the candle as well this is the green one um i'm just checking the history you can see it right here as well look at that check that out this is the candle also and, and so on so the history actually confirms that this price action usually indicates for a bearish reversal so we are go actually going to rely on it now what's going to happen in my opinion we have to wait for the euro usd to rise for another um 41 or 40 pips before we can start uh, selling it again that that being said euro usd is good for the short at 1.19402 uh, for this week let me delete all these lines though so they won't confuse us and the safe zone of course is going to be right above that resistance level which is going to be of course um let's go to the four hour chart yeah that's better so going to the four hour time frame we can see that we're going to start shorting the euro usd right on that the peak of that resistance and the safe zone is going to be ranging for about 60 pips which is also fair enough and i hope it's not gonna reach that level so this is the tech profit uh, the, sorry the sa the uh, uh, safe zone uh, level and right here the tech profit level is gonna be 1.17991 as we can see it's also the lowest level right here of that previous support level which is actually our target so uh, there goes your signal for the euro usd and i hope it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits now let's take a look at the pound usd 
So as you can see, this is the pound USD, and as you can see right here, on, uh, for the past week, the pound USD actually was moving in a very strong bearish momentum. And this is very important, my friends, because as we can see right here, in general, we can notice that the pound USD was moving in this upper trend line or support trend line. But however, we can see right that right here on Thursday, the market actually has made an attempt to be uh, to change from the bearish momentum to be a bullish but however sadly the market actually was not able to fall to, to rise above that level and look at this candle this candle right here indicates uh, for many things it indicates that the bulls or the buyers actually has made, made an attempt to break out from that level or actually, or actually to make a bullish reversal but the market eventually on friday uh, resumed the fall that means that this support level is no longer valid and the market most likely has actually made a bearish breakout right from that level. And of course, as we can see right here, the market was moving in this supported trend line for for number of months before finally has actually made a, a bearish breakout from that previous support trend line. Indicates that most likely and on the daily chart, uh, the market actually have to rise again to retest that strong resistance level on 1.37530 and right after that, we can start shorting the pound USD. Okay, now let's move to the to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, as we can see, this is the strong resistance level I just talked about. And right here, we can notice the strong bearish momentum. And right here, uh, this is the support trend line. And this is, my friends, is the bearish breakout. Not only that, we can see that the market right here has actually made the breakout right from that resistance and went all the way here retesting the broken level and then immediately falling down. Now, that being said, the market most likely, as after seeing this strong candle or the, the, this long tail right here, we can see that the market actually has reversed eventually on that support level on 1.13, uh, sorry, 1.37040 level. And we can expect from the pound USD to rise again to hit the exact same level of that previous resistance right here and this is exactly where we are planning to start shorting the pair that being said let me just uh, type for you that we can start shorting the pound usd right here on 1.37530 and for the safe zone the safe zone actually has to be right here above that resist uh, the broken support trend line because if the market has went up be uh, above that support trend line most likely it means that the market actually has changed from bearish to bullish so uh, let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone just like that and anyway if this happens we are actually aiming this support level right here let me show you let's go to the daily chart and as we can see right here we are having right here this support level on uh, 1.36155 this is most likely after the breakout happens right here uh, from that support trend line this is where the market is actually going to continue the fall to and after that we can start again buying the pound usd expecting from uh, from it to retest that broken support level right here and so on so of course this is the long-term analysis but for the meantime we just have to wait for the market to reach that support level before we decide to do anything further that being said let me just fix this one okay so we are actually aiming about 133 pips profit right from this trade of selling the pound usd therefore the take profit level is going to be 1.36155 there goes your signal for the pound usd and i hope it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits now let's check the AUD USD. As I said before, right now the AUD USD has changed to be a very good for the short for the simple reason that we can see here a, a, a perfect confirmation uh, or perfor uh, performing a full head and shoulders pattern indicates that the AUD USD is definitely going to be good for the short this week. Now it's very simple. All we need to do is looking at the strong resistance level uh, levels and start shorting the uh, the euro USD, sorry the AUD USD right from those levels. Right now we can see the here. Um, let me just draw it for you. The AUD USD is actually moving right now in this channel, like that. So therefore, we can expect from the AUD USD to to continue the fall uh, almost right away. But however, we have to expect from the pair to reverse after hitting that support trend line to rise a little bit more up, hitting that previous resistance level, and after that is gonna continue the fall. So all in all, AOD USD is definitely good for the short. I think it's very obvious right now that the pair is going to continue the fall right after creating the head and shoulders. Therefore, 
as I said before, we just have to look for the strong support and resistance levels. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the strongest resistance level right here is exactly at the peak of that resistance level, exactly right here, which was also a support in the past. Now, we have to wait for the AUDUSD to rise for another um, 37 pips before we can start shorting it. That being said, uh, AUDUSD is good for the short at 0 0.76 uh, double five nine. And the safe zone, of course, has to be just right here above that resistance, which is actually the previous support level. So I think it has to be about 40 pips. Let's make it a little bit more just for the safety measures. And let me just make it, yes, more realistic and good. So 52 pips, which is really fair enough. So there goes the save, the edge of the safe zone. And of course, if we started shorting the AUD USD right here, actually the target is going to be right here, the support level on, on 0 0.74554. However, this is the long term uh, target. And I don't think the, the pair is actually going to make it this week. It's going to take some time. So therefore, let's, let me just make the target to be actually the lowest level of the support right here. So we're going to be aiming about 123 pips of profit. So this is the take profit level going to be 0 0.75331. There goes your signal for the AUD USD. And I hope it's going to work also very well and bring us lots of profits. Let's now take a look at the USD CAD. So as we can see right here, the USD CAD is still falling and it's going all the way, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, to hit that previous support level on 1.24792. Most likely, the USD CAD is definitely going to be good for the buy right after hitting that level. And actually, there are numbers of analysis that I have done already to confirm this um, uh, th this th my thoughts okay so most likely uh, as i said before the pair is gonna hit that previous support level and uh, that support level must be respected again and it's gonna rise again from that level if we go also to the daily chart we can notice right here that the pair has actually showed a strong rejection after hitting that support level now as i'm telling you even on the bigger time frames on the daily chart for example if you see a long tail on the candle always depend on it because most likely it indicates a strength in the level or a strength in the rejecting to break out from that level even after the market actually has created here what seems like a bearish breakout from the market from that level immediately the next uh, day the market actually has uh, rise, has has risen and as we can see right here the market is going down all the way to retest that broken support level again so most likely we have to pay attention this time my friends we have to wait to see how the candle is going to react to that level my analysis says that most likely the pair is going to reverse on that support level meaning uh, the USD CAD has to fall for another uh, 50 pips before it's going to continue the rise. But we have, again, to pay attention to the market and how the candles can react to that level. For example, if you see here a strong bearish breakout candle has appeared, then definitely don't ever buy the pair. Always wait for something to confirm that you can start buying right here, such as a, a, a bullish pin bar or, the, or a doji or a reversed hammer, whatever can reverse, oh sorry, whatever can indicate that there's going to be a reversal, you can use it to confirm that you can start buying the pair right from that level. So anyway, to make it clear, uh, USD CAD is good for the buy this week at 1.24792 at that level of the support. And the safe zone, it's, of course, has to be right here um, at the edge of the next support level. So we are talking about 40 pips. Let me just make it a little bit more. So it's going to be for um, for almost almost the same, still 42 pips, which is actually fair enough. I don't think there is any need to make it more than that. Anyway, if we bought the pair right from that level, the target is going to be definitely the peak of that resistance at 1.25969. Therefore, it's exactly going to be right here. Uh, right here the tech profit level so we are talking about 118 pips hopefully gonna be very good profit so the tech profit level um, 1.25960 which is gonna be our target so there goes your signal for the USD CAD and I really hope also it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits let's now take a look at the USD JPY so as we can see right here, it's very obvious that the pair actually has made the final retest of the broken resistance on 109.294. As I told you before many times, we are having right here a strong resistance level and the USD GPY is definitely going to fall down all the way to retest it. And most likely we are going to start buying the USD GPY 
exactly from that level of the broken resistance which has happened exactly and as we can see right here on the daily chart the pair actually has managed to retest the broken resistance and reverse exactly right on it and currently it's going in 37 pips however where can we start buying the USDGPY again? Because obviously it's going for the bullish for this week. Now, of course, as we said before, this was the broken resistance means that this is right here a support number one, meaning most likely. And re remember, my friends, I am on the daily charts. Let me move to the to the four hour time frame. Exactly. So this is what we, as we can see right here, the support number one of the uh, retesting the broken resistance and as we can see that right here uh, the USDGPY has reversed um, on that resistance level on 109.870 most likely the pair is going to fall right here to create a second attempt of the support and this is going to be our chance to start again buying the pair that being said of course uh, the buy for this week for the USDGPY is 109.294 and of course, if we bought the pair right here from that level, we're going to be aiming at least the peak of that resistance right here at 110.476. If I'm not mistaken, we can actually target higher level than that. And we can eventually aim the top of the resist or the peak of the resistance at 100, uh, 110, I think even higher than that. Yeah, almost 111 almost almost but however uh, i don't think this is gonna happen right this week so therefore let's just be more realistic and we are actually aiming uh, the resistance on 110.472 equivalent to 110 pips this is the take profit level uh, 110.472 now of course for the safe zone the safe zone has to be right here just a little bit below that support level where the pair has has already reversed so it's gonna be only 40 pips which is also fair enough there goes the edge of the safe zone just like that exactly like this so there goes your signal for the USDGPY, and i hope it's gonna work also very well and bring us lots of profits moving to the usdchf usdchf actually has been moving in a bearish momentum for quite a long time but i think now is the time that we can start buying the pair after reaching that strong support level on 0 0.9 uh, 9.2206 six if we look at the daily chart this level actually has been as it has been a very strong support level right here for the uh, since um, march 2020 and as we can see right here the market has reversed exactly on the very same level in the case that this support has been respected once and definitely gonna be respected twice all we have to do is just wait for the pair to reach the lowest level of that support level before we can start buying it but it is, it's worth to mention that if i'm not mistaken <coughs> usdchf eventually gonna continue the fall but not right now we have to wait for the usdchf to rise for another 130 pips um to retest that broken resistance level which was also a support and after that we can expect to start shorting the USDCHF um, exactly after seeing the formation of head and shoulders. But for the meantime, we are going to start buying the pair. So therefore, USDCHF is good for the buy as 0 0.92206. Exactly right there. And the target, as I said before, uh, let's just make it uh, shorter than that. Let's make the target right here at the peak of this resistance level so actually we are aiming uh, 100 pips from this trade hopefully we will make them so take profit level 0 0.9 through 93204 now for the safe zone of course the safe zone has to be ranging just a little bit uh, below that previous resistance exactly like right here right here so it's gonna be about 53 pips which is also fair enough for the usd c chef there goes your signal for this pair and i hope it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits now let's take a look at the gold now the gold actually has shown here a strong resistance level let me show you at 1755 we can notice that the pair actually has made three attempts to break out right from that level and eventually the the gold has actually failed to break out of them so far uh, I think I have said that before. I mentioned that the gold most likely is going to continue the rise and reverse right on that resistance. And eventually on the long term, uh, the gold is going to continue the rise all the way to hit the resistance level on 1800. But for the meantime, what's going to happen with the gold? Uh, let's go to the daily chart. Now on the daily chart, we can notice that uh, right here, we had a support trend line. 
and the pair actually has been moving right on that uh, support trend line for quite some time however most likely the gold is not gonna rise right away it's actually gonna fall all the way right here to hit the support level right here on uh, let me just uh, confirm it the support level on 1710 1, before eventually gonna be valid for the buy again and we can uh, con to continue the rise but however right after seeing this strong candle this candle as i told you guys this candle usually indicates a bearish reversal for that reason i'm assuming that this week this gold is gonna continue the fall but however we just need to know where exactly we're gonna start shorting it now on we are on the daily chart now let's move to the four hour time frame so now on the four hour time frame we can confirm where we can start shorting the gold and where we can place our take profit level indeed so uh, as we can see right here we are having here the peak of the resistance exactly right here uh, let me just show it to you so as we can see right here it was the peak of the resistance and also we can see that right here we had a previous tail uh, right before the uh, the bearish breakout candle has appeared if I'm not mistaken, the gold is going to continue the rise just to hit that previous resistance level. And right after that, it's going to continue the fall and it's going to fall all the way to hit that previous support level, as I told you before, on 1710. So let me just make it like that, exactly like this. So this is this, the, level, the, the level of the support. Um, I'm just looking at 1710 exactly like that this is better actually so we are actually going to be aiming uh, 362 pips profit from the deal of the gold however we have to pay attention of course that the pair might actually shows a strong bullish momentum we have to be very careful when we are shorting the gold right from that level because my strategy is always saying that we should we should enter the trade only on the first or the second attempt of any support or resistance if the pair actually going to continue the rise right here it's gonna be the fourth attempt because here we are having resistance number one two three and here we are going to short on the fourth attempt based on my analysis i say that the gold is gonna fall right after that attempt but however we always have to be at, to pay attention to how the candle is reacting if you see a very if, <clears throat> if you see a very strong bullish candle has appeared right here then definitely don't do it don't start shorting the pair only short it only if you see any price action indicate a bearish reversal so that being said the take pro sorry the, the sell for the gold this week is going to be 1752.70 and the safe zone of course has to be ranging just right here above that resistance level so it's going to be for almost 126 pips of uh, uh, no it's just going to be 126 pips only and anyway the target as i said before let me just make it more realistic so the target is going to be uh the lowest level of the support at 1721 which is going to be almost ho hopefully 300 pips of profit so the take profit level is 1721.60 there goes your signal for the gold this week and i really hope it's going to be a very good week for everyone um the market seems calm this week and i think uh, we are going to going to make really a lot of profits and hopefully everyone will enjoy making them remember my friends as i told you the gold is currently for the short but on the long run the gold eventually going to continue the rise but however um, since we're analyzing on the daily chart for the for this week for these coming few days the gold is going to continue the fall before it's going to going to be eventually good for the buy again because most likely once the gold reaches that support level i'm going to send a signal to start buying the pair so uh, again i really hope it's going to be a very good week for everyone so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching